Hi guys, this is Suzanne HB, Crazy Just Might Work on Instagram, and today I'm going to be doing another tutorial on one of Simply Love Loom's designs. Uh, I've done the Y Wing, and this one is a variation on that, which is the Triple Y Wing. And basically, it's the same kind of looping pattern, but you use uh, three bands to get this lovely effect. So here's our Y which is thicker and stronger coming through here and on the back where we had our two butterfly wing shapes we've got the extra looping through here so it's a little bit uh, more complicated on the back. So I've been told on another tutorial that I talk too much so we might move on from here um, and uh, see how we go with it. For this tutorial, I uh, decided to try going with some slightly blingy bands. Uh, I've got metallic, blue metallic, I've got silver metallic, and I've got blue glitter bands, all, the, all Rainbow Loom uh, brand. The blue will be the background circles behind, the capped bands behind, where the black is in this one. And then I'm going to alternate the silver and the glitter blue being the, if I had it up the right way, being the Y's on the band. The setup for your loom for this tutorial is like um, a different version of the staggered position. So it's actually using the middle peg with the arrows pointing towards you. Uh, the middle peg will actually be uh, towards you closer towards you this way. Normally it would be um, the opposite way around but with the arrows pointing towards you you're going to have to move your middle peg, uh, sorry, your middle pin bar so that it's in this position. Your other alternative would be to use uh, your monster tail and you could use this as this position here and you could use these pins on the other side to be these ones here. You need access to this one for the um, cap bands. So we shall try that and see. I'm going to do it today on the Rainbow Loom setup this way. If you've done the y, y Wing bracelet then this will look quite familiar. We're just adding something in the middle of the other bands. So we'll start. Take a band that's going to be uh, your one of your Y colours, Y shapes, and place it out from the centre center bottom out, center up, center to the left, there. And now this bottom layer is going to be looped very slightly differently to the rest of the layers only because we don't have uh, another layer underneath to loop over the top. So first one, first cap band is a triple cap band, apologies for getting in the way, you can loop that on however you wish. And once we have a cap band on there, each layer, you're going to go in because we've loomed, we've laid it right, left, sorry, right, middle, left. The left one will be on top, so we'll be looping it to the left first, looping it back on itself to start with, looping the middle one back to itself, and looping the right one back to itself. Now you can then go over to the left and do the next step but I tend to go loop 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 and then do it in reverse so now we do the cross back doesn't matter what order you do it in it's just whatever helps you remember so you grab the band underneath and you cross it back over to that middle peg same here band underneath cross it back to the original peg and band underneath and cross it back to the original peg however you want to grab those bands it's fine you can go under you can go under this way however it works best for you now you'll see I hope that this first one is a little tricky just like on the other one but there will be the cap band and the three Y bands on top there position that so that the cap band is actually underneath because you're going to get that without losing the bands on top of it you're going to loop this up and over so it sits just in front of that peg there. 
Now that step is only tricky for that first one, it's much easier on the next one's round. Push those down, and, and on each stage it is worth giving them a good push down uh, so that you don't end up with the bands getting too close to the top as you're looping over. Now we're going to, once we've looped the cap band over, lay our next colour Y. So for me it's the glitter blue. So we go middle out to the right, middle up, oops, and middle to the left. Now for this step and for all other steps after that, once you've laid the, the Y band, you're going to go down and you'll see that on each peg, this one, this one, this one, and this one, they've all got a band of the other Y colour underneath that's going to be looped up on top. So that loops up and over. Just careful not to lose those bands of the peg. This one loops up and over. This one loops up and over. And this one loops up and over. Okay, so you've looped the other Y colour up and over that one. Give it a good push down. Once you've looped the original Y colour up and over, you lay your next cap band. So triple cap band, however you want to get it on there, whether you put it around your hook, whether you loop it around the way I did, it doesn't really matter. So long as there's a triple cap band on there. As before, once you've got a cap band on there, you go in, grab the top band, loop it back to itself out to the left. Oops, try not to get in your way. Out to the left, grab the next band, looping it up to the middle, and next one out to the right. As before, I like going left, middle, right, and then coming back for the cross back. If you give that a good push down, so you've got plenty of space, it does make it easier. Cross back on the right to the middle, top to the middle, 